remember very vividly looking at all those families going, there's so many. And it was startling because when you are a fresh widow, I mean, it's devastating on every front possible. And the foundation is simply a conduit, a channel, if you will, a blessing to those in the homeschool community, organizations, individuals, families, widows, special needs children. It provides support for individual families and homeschooling organizations all across the United States, in fact, all, all across the world. When we got a gift of $25,000 from a single donor to help widows, it changed our whole focus. This was something that was really near and dear to God's heart. In James it says that pure religion undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and the widows and their affliction. My husband died of brain cancer and was sick um, for about seven months and it was a very dramatic illness that left him incapacitated almost immediately. For, so for the next seven months while he was ill, I was very unavailable to the children. After my husband passed away, the opportunity to be home with the kids and regrouping and emotionally being present as well as physically being present to them was very important. <laughs> I mean, it was... It was so significant. We get cards and letters back from these women who are saying, you're not only um, providing a check, finances to buy the books, but you're also providing encouragement. For me, honestly, in the circumstances that I was in, it was more about encouragement, um, that somebody believes that I can do this <laughs> and I'm not crazy. We chose homeschooling because we felt it was the best way to meet our children's special needs. We have twins that were born prematurely. They were only two pounds when they were born. And on one of the twins, our daughter suffered a severe brain hemorrhage when she was born, and it caused cerebral palsy and some cognitive delays. And as well, our son has some speech delays and developmental delays that are resolving. Unfortunately, there aren't many options out there for special education outside of the public school system. I was interested in doing a neurodevelopmental program. This is an individualized home-based program that's carried out by the parent every day in the home. We were praying hard about it. When we received the check in the mail from the Homeschool Foundation, I had actually forgotten that I had submitted the application, but the Lord put that check in the mail right at the time where we needed some wisdom in making a decision about how to help the children. And so that really was an answer to prayer. I know in a way that you don't know just from reading the Bible and all these things that are truths about God takes care of the widow, but now I know God takes care of the widow. You know, my husband would be very pleased to know how his family has been taken care of. I think that would really make him feel very happy to know that there were Christians who stepped in and helped out his family. Mm -hmm.